In my opinion, it's glaring legal violation and violation of European values. One of the most important European values is the right for an impartial investigation. What do we have here? First, they passed a sentence upon us based on questionable evidence, to put it nicely. And what does Mr McLaren say now? That he doesn't want to push on with the investigation. He doesn't need to. The sentence is passed. I don't rule out... Sorry, for a parallel with international affairs, that it will be like it was in Iraq. They bombed Iraq and then it turned out there were no weapons of mass destruction. Oleg Smolin, the first vice president of the Russian Paralympic Committee, reacting to the decision on Tuesday to ban all Russian Paralympic athletes from competing in Rio. The Mr McLaren he mentions is Richard McLaren, the Canadian lawyer whose World Anti-Doping Agency Commission report exposed in July the extent of Russian state-sponsored doping. Imagine when someone takes everything away from a person, when you don't have much in this life in principle, but even the last hope is taken from you. The 267 Russian entries who are due to compete in next month's Games will now be allocated to other nations. Russia's Paralympic Committee and athletes have argued that it's unfair to punish individual athletes if they can prove they are clean. They question the motivation of Sir Philip Craven, the British president of the International Paralympic Committee, the committee itself and the McLaren report. The Paralympic Games will take place between September the 7th and 18th in Rio de Janeiro.